According to the UN report on food security, across the 21 local government areas of Adamawa State, about 700,000 people are under the crisis of emergency levels of food security and nutrition and insecurity. Madagali, Michika, and other areas affected by insurgency and denied access to farmland. It's for these reasons and others that a delegation from the United Nations, led by the resident and humanitarian coordinator and the representative of the Secretary General of the UN, are in Nigeria. Other members of his delegation include the WFP, FAO, amongst others. The team arrived at Gulak, the headquarters of Madagali local government area of Adamawa State, amidst tight security. The secretary to the Adamo state government is on ground on behalf of Governor Umaru Fintiri to receive them and proceed to the venue of the meeting. The UN country representative reveals that the UN agencies have distributed agricultural inputs to over 10,000 households across the five mostly affected local government areas and other issues. Because the only thing Boko Haram is striving on in this part of the world is young people. If you keep the young people busy and create opportunities for them, they are not going to get the fighting force they require. Representatives of the traditional and religious leaders speak on some of their challenges, while the Adamawa state government describes the interaction as positive. You are not allowed to bring fertilizer in this land. It's against the ethic of the military. If they catch you, you are in trouble. And how can you convince me that there is a food? There is a problem of food. Our people need food seriously. We have a lot of orphans where the parents have been killed and it has left the orphans with their mothers. And the mothers have, don't have enough to cater for these orphans. So virtually these orphans who are going to stay out of school, out of job, how are they going to be in the near future? I think it's positive. I'm very confident that uh, we'll get uh, a very good consideration because what, what uh, the resident uh, coordinator humanitarian affairs told me is that he wants to use the information gathered today to be able to prepare a good proposal for Adama to get a very good chunk of that $375 million. The delegation also meets with the women who are the bulk of the farmers and those whose husbands were killed by the insurgents. Meanwhile, one of the three bridges destroyed by Boko Haram has been washed away by flood, cutting off access to Madagali and neighboring communities. Light vehicles drive through the water to get to the other side of the road. The people lament this development. While the Adamo state government appeals for more permanent work instead of palliatives. You know, a lot of goods that come in from Meduguri, they can no longer pass this bridge. And uh, food stuffs that move from Minchika to other places is no longer moving because of the lack of the road. The palliatives that are being done on this bridge and, and, and the other ones uh, will, be, will be actually suspended and very serious work done to have a permanent structure. Until this destroyed bridge is reconstructed, these communities will continue to go through the same harrowing experience every year. The Adamawa state government also announces the allocation of a site for the proposed humanitarian hub to the United Nations.